What's up guys? We are back at the park. Finally! Yes! Yeah, so as many as so as many as you know. As many as you know, why does as that many sound? Of you know. So as many of you know. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while. We're a little rusty. The California stay at home has been lifted. So guess what? Where we're at, we're back at downtown, downtown. Disney. And what better place to start off our dining at the Jazz Kitchen. My favorite place. Oh my goodness. I know they have beignets. Oh, they with a must? Mint juleps with or without alcohol. With. I can't wait. Let's go inside, try some good food, and welcome to the Aya Chronicles. Outside. This is great. Um, so, let's see what they got the menu. so it looks like they do have a restrictive menu for COVID. Uh, they don't have every single thing that we're used yeah, to, no, but uh, ones like this. as you guys can see, mm -hmm. there's still some good options on here. Um, what I'm gonna get? I have no idea. I would normally just go straight for the Impossible Burger, but. Uh, hmm. Shrimp and grits sound amazing. Just what to pick, what to pick. Hmm. So we made a reservation online on the Disney app for three o'clock and unfortunately we couldn't make it on time. I tried calling, well actually our friend Daisy tried calling and right now because of COVID the uh, Disney dining phone, is, phone line is down. So uh, what we did, we literally called straight to the restaurant and told them we weren't gonna make it to our three o'clock appointment, our three o'clock reservation. Can we move it up? The lady was super nice, moved it up to five o'clock, and here we are. So just the, uh, you know, FYI guys, a little pro tip there. Okay guys, so we got our drinks, and of course, Brittany went with the, uh, the fancy smashy. Uh, Daisy got the uh, mojito, right Daisy? Air mojito. And I got the, uh, what was it? I forgot. Mint julep. Mint julep. God, but I don't know why it's throwing me off. I don't remember it it's, being it's, green. It's, that, it's not that green in the park. Normally, right? It normally looks more like that. Yeah. I don't know why it's throwing me off, but it looks good. But um, I want you to try that. What is that exactly? It's butterscotch, butterscotch schnapps. That's hard to say. Why is that hard to say? I don't know. Uh, fireball, which I like. Vanilla syrup and half and half. Called the King Cake. So. Wow. Good? That is so good. And this is for Mardi Gras, right? It's for the Mardi Gras parade. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's a temporary drink, right? It's a uh, not something they have on the menu all the time. That is so good. It tastes like I don't even know, like fancy or chata or something. Because oh <laughs> it has the creamy, you know, and then the cinnamon, so that you get and the butterscotch, so you get a lot of and that. You're gonna get pretty buzz off of that. So yeah. This is FYI. I'm gonna get lit like a Christmas tree. Good, but it's not strong. Not no. I like to hear that. Yeah. Let me try your drink then. All right, let me try it. Wow, that is really good. You know what's weird? You described it pretty on point. 
it does taste like a fancy horchata. Da, 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 da. But with a Sir? Stop. Sir? We're a little busy here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, it's delicious. Sugar rim, cinnamon on top. The fireball, I think that's what kind of makes yeah, it taste like so um <laughs> But it's so good. I will definitely have that next. Let me try the mint julep because it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I'm used to the park one. It's a little more like a like a mojito kind of. Oh man, it has coloring, but oh, it tastes exactly like in the park. It's so good. Awesome. Highly recommend this one. Oh, he likes it. So we're starting off with the appetizers here. I got the uh, calamari. And Brittany got the uh, the gumbo. The gumbo, traditional gumbo. How is it? It's good, just like always. Oh wow! Somebody else likes it too. My calamari looks delicious, and somebody's already going to town on my calamari and the soup. Somebody woke up hungry. All right, guys, let's dig in. Let's dip. Try. Mmm, just as good as I remembered. You want some dates? No, thank you. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I'll have your leaf of lettuce. Oh, I know. <laughs> those, those freaking vegans. And you're living with it. Yeah. <laughs> you could have, you could oh, have just that. Just kidding. Okay, guys. So our food is here. Since we both got appetizers, we're sharing the salmon. So it's a blackened salmon, Cajun spiced, North Atlantic salmon, green onion rice, bacon braised, southern greens, and then lemon butter sauce for 26 There it is. Let's dig in. Okay guys, so bear with me because I'm doing this by myself because yeah, yeah, went with the baby to buy a balloon because he kept saying balloon, balloon. So they went on the hunt for the Mickey balloons. So I'm going to try this first. So let's see. You know how we do it here. We get the ultimate bite. So these greens look so good. It's like kale. Oh my God, so good. That is fantastic. The butter sauce that it's sitting in is kind of slightly sweet. But the salmon is blackened in Cajun seasonings and that's my favorite thing ever. Very good. The greens. I love kale. I love greens. But it has bacon. So good. 10 out of 10. Like, All right, guys. So it looks like me and Brittany are sharing the salmon. I already said that. She claims like the uh, greens are good, so I'll be the judge. Yes. Let's try it. Oh wow, this is so good. It's been a long time since I've had it. A long time. Asian. The fish is not, you know, sometimes it has that fishy taste to it. So good. Oh my god. What's in the greens is so good. Bacon, I don't know what. Oh my god. You can't go wrong with putting bacon in your greens. Apparently, mm. you This is excellent. It's so. Yeah, the greens are sweet. I can taste the, you know, the caramel, the caramelization from the bacon. Oh, really, really good. 10 out of 10 for sure. All right, guys. Dinner was delicious. And for dessert, some man catching beignets. It's cool about having dinner here at the gas kitchen. You don't have to wait for that job. Norman's line here at the uh, gas kitchen express. You can just order them to go if you want, and there we go. Let's get out of here. This is your favorite, I think. Yep. And I'm 
I'm even turning him into a beignet lover. Oh no. I guess we're gonna leave this video right here uh, as usual Jazz Kitchen is a 10 out of 10 unfortunately they didn't have the full menu which wasn't a big deal but what they did have was really good my favorite thing here is the golden medallions when they have the full menu back I'm gonna bring you guys back and show you more in detail of everything right now partial of the restaurant is only open one thing I thought was really cool even though California Disneyland has cancel the AP uh, they still give us a discount which was great 10% out of $120 and hey it adds up at least it covers for the tip you know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure hit that hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button this has been another episode of the iPod <laughs>